Right guys, it's that time of week again. It's book review day. And this week we're doing Road to Wigan Pier by George Orwell. You'll have to excuse the tattiness of my copy. It's practically falling apart, but it is a very old copy. And uh, we've studied Orwell on this channel before, but this is the first time we've studied his non-fiction, something that wasn't a novel or a story. This is an account of George Orwell's travels around working class England and his, his, his stories of his living with people who were from sort of mining communities, poor communities, and his description of the sort of lives that they lived in, the, in this time period, in the 30s. And this is very, very adaptable to modern standards, to modern society, to the system that we live in and the society that we live in today, where we have rising poverty, people living in squalor, people living in absolute poverty. And it discusses the kind of things that you would see in uh, a poor working class house, so mould, things like that, windows not working properly, not opening, lack of windows, lack of heating, lack of this, lack of that, etc, etc. He discusses the people that he lives with, what they're like, and well, by and large he says that they're, they're the kindest, most kind-hearted people the one could hope to meet. And he uh, details their income, does little charts of their income and what they got coming in and what they got going out, cost for coal and for food and all this, and tries to detail how they could make it work. Doesn't really manage to do that too often. And this, I think, is something that everybody needs to read, especially in today's current political climate in the UK. Everybody needs to read this. So I guarantee you it will give you one hell of an insight into what it's like to be poor, down and out, working class, average Joe people in the UK. And it's scary that 70, 80 years later, this is still relevant. This should have been obsolete by now. This should have been wiped out. This book should now be a historical document rather than something that can be picked up and looked at and read and made to be applied to today's standards. So as you know, after the Second World War, or you might not know, after the Second World War, the Labour government came in under Attlee and they built up social housing in the NHS and things got largely better, for, for, for better or for worse. They got largely better for working class people. And then Thatcher came along sometime later and dismantled it all. Now we're back where we started, or more or less back where we started. So this is one hell of a socialist book. If you're interested in socialism, if you are a socialist, if you're leaning towards socialism, if you just want to know what it's all about, I would recommend you pick this up and you read it. Because a lot of people, especially online, you get a lot of conservative types who share Orwellian quotes and it's quite, quite shocking that they're not aware of the irony of what they're doing because they're actually sharing a socialist. So read it, pick it up, buy it, order it online, do what you've got to do, get it on ebook, just read it because this is more relevant now than it's ever been since its inception. So thanks for watching. That was Road to Wigan Pier. Road to Wigan Pier, Wigan Pier doesn't exist by the way, it's a, it's a fictional place that George Orwell invented, it is something of a joke. And uh, go ahead and read that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.